our topic of concern is about Legendre's linear differential equation. First of all, let's look at the general form of the linear differential equation of Legendre's. First of all, uh, we have to see that uh, the general equation says that it has constants k1, k2 up to k n minus 1 and a, it has variable term a plus bx raised to the power n into derivative n times derivative of y with respect to n. As the constants increasing, the value of n is decreasing. Here, we have assumed as a plus bx is equals to exponent raised to the power z. z is another variable. Hence, z became ln a plus bx, where ln is logarithm to the base exponent, logarithm to the base e. By our uh, derivation, we have uh, found uh, we have found out that a plus bx into dy over dx is equals to b into d of y, and a plus b x whole square dx dy d square y over dx square is equals to b square into d d minus one y, and up to n terms a plus bx in raised to the power n into d n of y over dx uh, power n is equals to b raised to the power n into d d minus 1 d minus 2 up to d minus n plus 1 y. This represents Legendre's differential equation. Now let us look at a question. Here the question is 1 plus x square d square y over dx square plus 1 plus x dy over dx plus y which is equal to 2 times sine of ln of 1 plus x first of all as we have assumed we have uh, we have assumed that a plus bx which is equal to d into d minus 1 of y we have first we have as as we have assumed a plus bx is equal to exponent to the power z now as we have assumed by derivation from this part we have uh, taken as 1 plus x square into d square y over dx square is equals to b square d into d minus 1 y here we have b s 1 here the b is 1 Therefore, the b is 1, hence we can we could also write as b square would also be 1. Now, 1 plus x dy over dx, which is, is equal to b into d of y. As b is 1, therefore d of y. Now, putting these terms back into the equation to calculate yc. First of all, d into d minus 1 y plus d d into d minus 1 y plus d into y plus y is equals to 0 to calculate yc now here by simplifying and taking y as common we came to the part d square plus 1 which is which is equal to 0 now this represents function of function with respect to d function with respect to variable d now d square which is equals to minus 1 or d is equals to plus minus iota now as we see that uh, the roots are now complex because of iota therefore yc the equation of yc would become exponent raised to the power 0x into c1 cos z plus c2 sin z here 1 are from this uh, root we have a as 0 and b as 1. So taking 1 here and taking 1 here, it became cos z and sin z. As we have seen that in this equation, we have solved this whole question with respect to the term of z. But in question, we, are, we have to find the answer with respect to x. So now to con we have to convert this equation back to x. Hence, it would become exponent 0 would become 1 
and c1 cos z would become ln 1 plus x as we have uh, talked before about it and c2 sin ln 1 plus x we have found the yc of our equation now for now our second part would be to find the particular integral yp here yp is inverse of function of d into function of z here we have function of x we have given a function of x so first of all we'll have to convert this function of x into function of z as we know z is equals to ln 1 plus x exponent raised to the power x z will be 1 plus x so x would be e key powers e raised to the power z minus 1 yp would become 1 over d square plus 1 into 2 times sine ln 1 plus e raised to the power z minus 1 x is re uh, replaced by e raised to the power z minus 1 1 and 1 gets cancelled it became y p is equals to 1 over d square plus 1 2 times sine ln exponent raised to the power z now as ln and exponent are reciprocal they also get cancelled now 1p yp which is equal to 1 over d square plus 1 into 2 times z from this equation we found that our uh, we from this equation we found that a is 1 with uh, z we have nothing uh, constant number therefore it is 1 now yp is we have taken 2 common out yp is 2 times 1 over d square plus 1 into sin z now as we replace d square by a square we replace d square by a square we get that minus 1 a square is 1 minus a square would be minus 1 plus 1 it would become 0 so this yp would become infinity so our quotient would get to wrong side therefore in order to get a real value of yp we'll have to derivate the below part of the equation and multiply the equation by our, by the variable z hence we have derivated the below part d square has become 2d and 1 has eliminated and we have multiplied the equation by z this equation became 2 into z over 2 times of d into sine of z now we'll have to we will have to multiply and divide by d to make the below equation d square we have multiplied and divided the whole equation by d the below part becomes d square the upper part z and 2 and 2 gets cancelled multiply by derivative on sine z now next step we'll have yp is equals to z over d square multiply by derivative of sine z which became cosine z now if we replace now d square by minus a square we will get yp is equals to z over minus 1 into cosine of z hence yp is minus z into cosine of z as we have learned before we have found uh, the answer of equation in terms of z but we have our question in terms of x so we'll have to find the answer in term of x now we'll have to convert it back to x we know that yp is minus z into cosine of z where z is equals to ln 1 plus x therefore yp would become minus ln 1 plus x into mul multiply by cosine 1 ln 1 plus x now this yp is now in terms of variable x therefore further our answer would become y would become as yc plus yp we have calculated value of yc as c1 cos ln 1 plus x plus c2 sin ln 1 plus x and yp minus ln 1 plus x into cos ln 1 plus x therefore adding both this term into one equation will get us our answer